Welcome back to another video, you guys. We have just landed in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We are waiting for the big boss to come <laughs> pick us up. And we are going to be here checking out the facility and giving you guys updates on what's going on with the breeding facility here. It changes, the stock changes. We have some eggs already on the ground. And yeah, I'm anxious to show you guys all that. So looking forward to it, but we are here and we are gonna do it from Malaysia, from our facility, our breeding facility. Here's how we're gonna do this, you guys. I am going to do several videos here and I am going to break it down by genus, more or less, or at least by groupings that make sense. I wanna give you guys a better look, a closer look at our breeding stock and what we have going on. We are going to start today with beauty rat snakes. This is one of my Vietnamese blue beauties. So this particular one here is a female and she is the one that just laid a clutch of eggs like two days ago. So double clutches are definitely possible with a lot of colubrid species, these included. However, we only import from Malaysia once per year in June. And so a double clutch won't make it in time for this summer. But the eggs that we have already incubating, those eggs should be hatching if everything goes correctly and we will have those babies this summer. For some reason, our group of Vietnamese blue beauties are very light. They are very washed out. We have some more bluish ones. We have some very white ones. We have eggs already on the ground. We have breeding going on. We have a lot of stuff going on. So I really wanted to show you guys this pair, but they are courting that female she just shed. So that is why uh, the shed skin is in there and I wanted to leave it in there because it just adds more scent and excitement to the mix. But I am gonna show you guys a couple more. I can show you this one here. This one has a little bit more blue going on with it. And I think it's actually, no, it's not paired, it's by itself. These snakes typically, they're not like really mean, but they just get a little uppity. But once they're out, they're usually pretty chill. So this one is really, really nice, you guys. I actually remember this one as a youngster and just amazing, just absolutely amazing. This is a boy, the males of Orthriophis or Alafe beauty rat snakes, the males get bigger than the females. So this is a big boy. And I don't know how the colors are translating in the video, but my eyes, I'm seeing just an amazing tone, a blue tone It's just really, really pretty to me. Nice and big and stocky. So like I said already a couple times and I'll keep saying it, I think our blue beauties are just a cut above. And my worker isn't here, but if I'm not mistaken, this is the father to the clutch that we already have on the ground. And that is why he is not paired with another female. We're kind of just giving him a, giving him a break, I think. So, like I said, I wanted to show you guys the ones that are in here that are courting because they're really more to the white side. This one's more blue. And every time I see these animals, they just get better and better. So I'm pretty excited about what I'm seeing. As a breeder, we always try to have kind of the, the best version possible of all this stuff. And I think we're doing pretty good. This one down here, is kind of filled out with a lot of blue color. I know if I reach in, it's gonna give me a little, little knock. Oh, maybe not. So this one is, is more blue, a little bit more pigment. But what an amazing looking animal. 
They're all beautiful in their own right. So basically for our blue beauties, you guys, we have like ones that are very white and pale, and then they just kind of vary from there. Then I would say we have more blue animals kind of as the intermediate. And then we have animals like this that are still blue, but yet a little bit more like grayed out. So really, really pretty, really beautiful. This happens to be a girl. So let me put her back. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we may have a, there's a male in here and he is also another, so this one has a little bit more pigment in the, in the pattern area, in the darker pattern area and a more sharper pattern, more contrasty, not as blurry as I like to say. So, and this one is a boy. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one back. That, the little female, I felt her already and she had some follicles in, in her, so that's why I have them together. Yes, I know. Don't get all crazy, You're just closing the door. Yes, I know. Okay, the next ones, I'm going to show you Ridley Eye. The ones that I have here are very nice. They are not the vividly colored like Crayola crayon, fluorescent looking ones that I have back in the US. Those animals will be making their way here this summer, but I do have a very nice pair here, uh, more colorful than most. Most of the Cameron Highlands animals, at least in the wild, the pure stock, doesn't have a lot of color to it. These animals have a good amount of color, but not as much color as the ones that I have back in the US. Now, as these guys grow, they're getting, they're getting more peach, more lavender. There's colors in these animals that are not in the animals that I have back in the US, but beautiful, very, very beautiful. This is the girl. And still young, but should be breedable at this size. Just right kind of knocking on that door. And I'll show you the male that we have here. And very similar, but also a little bit different. Has a little bit kind of different color mid body and a little less orange, but also quite nice. Okay, you guys, before I show you the real interesting looking specimen of Ridley Eye, I wanted to show you this one. This is typical of a Cameron Highlands wild caught Ridley Eye, sort of uh, ivory color, a little bit of a lavender color towards the back end, and usually a little bit of peach on the neck. So just wanted to show you that. This one happens to be a female, probably will go into our breeding group, always can use extra girls. I'm gonna show you the real nice orange one here in a second. That one happens to be male. So we have some nice animals, but that is it, wild caught. I know most people aren't usually bragging a lot about wild caught animals, but I think with Ridley Eye, it's important because these cave dwelling racers, everything's captive bred, everything is mixed up. Nobody knows where their animals came from but at least we have locality data on these. So I just wanted to give you guys a sample and I'm gonna show you the real nice specimen 
right now. Okay, you guys, so this is the super beautiful one. This animal is not a happy camper, but I just wanted to show you guys it because the color is very atypical of Cameron Highlands Ridley Eye, despite what the hobby may tell you. The hobby is labeling everything as Cameron Highlands and no other localities, but this one is atypical, like I said. I can't stress it enough, but this one's very, very pretty, very, very colorful and is probably some animal like this, which formed the basis of really pretty stock that I have through selective breeding at, back in the US. So this one is going into our breeding colony as well, but we'll have locality data on these animals and I think it's super important for the hobby. So now I'm gonna show you guys Grabowski. We have these animals we just paired they were fed last, like two days ago, they were uh, fed. And then so today I personally paired these animals. So I saw some courting going on. I saw these guys courting as well, but I need to get this video out to you guys. So uh, hopefully they're not, I'm not disturbing them too bad, but I just wanna show you to, so I can make this video more complete. These are wild caught that I imported into the US and then I sent them over here. Really, really pretty. They're a bit feisty, but they're really beautiful snakes. Very different from the others that I have just shown you. So let me, yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Very nervous and very fast. So these are quite interesting. They have a lot of blue color along with very vivid yellow. So these are quite amazing to me. And they were courting just a little bit ago, but they weren't like really getting hot and heavy into it. But hopefully, with a little luck, we'll get these guys bred. I've seen a few of these as wild caught and there's a lot of variation among these guys. So I'm really happy with my pair that I have here. I think they're really amazing. They have a lot of yellow on the ventral side and then some blue on the side and they're really, really cool. They're super nervous and a little bit feisty. I'll show you this one. And here's the other one. This one has, has more yellow. This is the girl. So they're getting there, you guys. Hopefully, maybe tonight during lights out, we'll get lucky. But they're very they're getting really well fed here. So pretty amazing snakes. Okay, sorry for stressing you guys out. So that's going to do it for today's video, you guys. Beauty rat snakes, one of my favorites. They are pretty easy to manage in captivity. They are not difficult to breed. The eggs are relatively easy to hatch and the babies are easy to rear. I think we have Health and Bergerai on the way. We are going to put those in the hobby soon. I'm really excited about that. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. From Malaysia, from Kuala Lumpur, in our breeding facility, we have more videos coming. We are going to do these videos like in a species specific grouping so you guys can get a closer look at what we have going on. I do wanna show you guys one more thing. I have glass terrariums ordered. They are going to start on this wall exactly where I'm at right here. And this is going to extend all the way down. We're replacing all of these boxes and it's going to be all arboreal glass terrariums. I believe two right here. So it should be, I think about 36 very tall, big arboreal tanks. Gonna have lighting, automated misting, naturalistic vivariums backgrounds, monkey ladder vines, the whole thing. And we're really excited about it. They are being uh, manufactured right now and they should be here in April. So we are going to be making a return trip to help set all that stuff up. 
the Boiga are going in there. Um, a lot of the specialized stuff, venomous, all that, this entire wall is gonna be really awesome. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Take care.